everybody welcome to this week's episode of tarot of the week it is march 1st so it is not only the beginning of a new week it is the beginning of a new month now with that being said i want to announce that i'm doing tarot scopes for the month so be on the lookout if you have not watched it yet to watch for your sun moon and rising sign and they're individually posted so it's going to be aries will be its own video taurus is its own video so on, so on, so on. So make sure you watch those to see what the tarot scopes have to say for this month for you. Um, let's see what else. I think that's really it with announcements. Um, yeah, I think that's really it with the announcements. And so let's just get straight into what is the reading for the week of March 1st for everybody as a collective. So I'm using the Rider Waite Tarot. And I don't know if I'm gonna use Modern Witch Tarot. We'll see how I'm feeling. Lately, I haven't really been vibing with this deck. It's a really great deck, but just, I don't know, lately it just really hasn't been calling me. That happens sometimes. So let's just see, as a collective, what is a message or what are the messages that we all need to hear for this week? really good so far so with the hanged man i'm picking up really on pisces energy we do we're still obviously in pisces season along with um venus being in pisces and then we have the six of pentacles which is earth energy and finding a sense of balance and so i'm feeling like this week what we're really doing is we're being we're having a sense of openness and in seeing things from a different perspective than we have before i feel like this full moon has really cleared out a lot of energy for people a lot of old energy to come to this place of being more open that's really what i'm getting with the hanged man because you see his arms are behind his back and that's really what's standing out to me and the fact that he's upside down so it's like we are now viewing things from a different point of view like so we're seeing things like wow i haven't viewed things like this way before and i'm open now to receiving all this kind of abundance right here all this abundance and i feel like some people have some money coming their way or um you know I, I, usually i see this more as giving but i'm picking up receiving for this week receiving 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 so i feel like people are being more open to and this could be anything like you're more open to receiving like somebody's time or giving your time to somebody um you're open to receiving all this kind of abundance that you've been wanting and wishing that you had and it's like this blockage has been kind of uh, like lifted and I really feel like that has a lot to do with this full moon Virgo we just had a few days ago holy shit look at that we get three of cups and two of pentacles so people are definitely coming together and celebrating and being like yes feeling like this is great um conjoining together community celebrating having fun this, uh some of you guys are um again with this being open to receiving thing but it's like you're being open to not just receive like abundance in like forms of money but abundance in forms of love there's a lot of different forms of love that are coming your guys's way this week and it's like i feel like too there's still that kind of hmm balancing act of i'm open to receiving this but there's still those like scary thoughts i feel like that are coming into play of like how do i balance like where i'm at in my present like life right now with yeah i'm open to receive i do have a different perspective but you're still having these like past kind of like old patterns old thought patterns old programs and stuff coming to mind of like and, and coming out to play in your physical realm but i feel like to help with that saying things like 
okay, thanks for popping in my head and making me feel like oh, I gotta, I have to do this. It's not gonna last that long. Um, thanks for coming into my head and then say something positive to yourself, like an affirmation saying something like, I am open to receive and I am worthy and I am deserving of this and this is not temporary. Like what what's happening to me isn't going to go anywhere. This is to stay. And that's what's going to help um, with uh, getting in that sense of balance, if that makes sense. You know, what? I'm going to pull a card from you. I'm just going to do it. It's probably why I even mentioned it too. I had not... All right, let's just see the modern witch tarot. Okay, Ace of Swords. Yeah, so this is this huge, like brand new mentality really stepping in, like this new mentality being open. And I feel like um, with these mountains in the background, I feel like it's like we've overcome these mental obstacles, like we've climbed over this and we're ready for literally something new this week. Um, Hmm. And like this, it's not, I'm, I'm seeing it as smoke, white smoke. It might actually be clouds, but for me, this is white smoke that's like wrapping around the sword. And what I'm picking up on is seeing that this infinite cycles of like coming in coming out and then now it's like we've left this place and now we're ready to move on to something new a new cycle um, of abundance that's coming and it's only going to keep getting better and going up that's what I feel like is happening with this mental shift that's what's standing out to me there's any of the messages flies Oh yeah, see, and then the star card. So there's definitely great things coming. Definitely great things coming. Um, we still have a lot of Aquarius energy going on, of course. Um, so still going back into like with the communities, um, celebrating, coming together, sharing things with friends. That's big Aquarius energy right there. Is like thinking and caring about the community. And with the star card ruling Aquarius, I'm I'm feeling like. Um, people are really stepping into, I feel like friendships is really standing out for some of you guys this week, relationships, um, how can I commit to something I'm picking up on too, um, you guys are finding more of a sense of balance and commitment, um, and the shift of perspective of how to be able to step into committing to somebody or your friends more, or even this new job or career. I feel like this commitment is a big thing that's coming up and I think this has a lot to do with this new perspective right from this full moon that we just had so I think that's really what the stock had is really talking about and then again finding that sense of how can I balance these two things see the two of pentacles he's juggling something and she's got the water jug she's pouring one into the water one into the earth and it's flowing back into the water and it's like finding this sense of literally balance and I feel like a lot of us have been we're in a space of being more open and vulnerable to this week um whew, yes vulnerability growing something um obviously springtime's coming up but I'm really picking up on like growing um some of you may be getting more some plants or wanting to um take care of house plants or God and something too or you've had that on your mind, um, learning how to get a green thumb. That's really what I'm picking up on too. Let me see if there's any other messages for this week. Okay. And then we have the Knight of Wands, which is exciting because this is like a lot of passion, action, opportunities. Some of you may be dealing with someone of a fire sign, which could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or maybe you are an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and you're really having this spark of like this spunkiness happening. Some of you might um, be picking up more and like having a heavier like sex drive and libido this week too. Um, some of you guys also uh, might be getting into um, Stata, uh, running, launching like a, a Stata program. Um, that's not the right word. 
you know when you launch like a new company or something that's like a stat of something whatever you know what I'm talking about hopefully you do anyways but I feel like either way I feel like a lot of you guys are in the midst of like starting something fresh starting something new and even with this new perspective you're seeing things from like a new lens of like oh I can really step into getting this thing going now that I see things differently and um like you got the green light basically this is giving you the green light to go all right now let's get into where's my daily crystal deck hey babe can you get my daily crystal deck i don't know where it is i don't have it out i think it's in the bedroom well i wait for that i'm gonna do some angels and ancestors cards and see okay well they have spoken mountains stand your ground and didn't i talk about mountains earlier like we moved past like um these literally mountains of like struggles that we had to overcome right and i feel like that had a lot to do with again the full moon so with the mountains i'm getting now that we've overcome this if they're saying like stand your ground be solid be grounded in your foundation um work on your foundation work on the root chakra connect with your spirit guides um how can you stand very solid and grounded question that to yourself this week no it's not it's in the bedroom i think yeah let's see let's see let's see if there's any other <laughs> messages for this week angels and ancestors yes Ooh, i like this one high priestess harness mystic power wow so it's funny because it's like last week i think it was last week no it was not last week it was like two weeks ago where i talked about getting the sense of like being grounded because we got the mountains unless it was with the client that i got the mountains anyways either it was with a client of mine but i know i definitely had a video about two weeks ago where it was a sense of connecting the grounding and like your intuition and having the sense of balance between the two and i'm feeling like this week we found that balance we have that balance and this is saying now that we have this we can connect to um having higher wisdom and standing our ground and being firm and feeling confident in where we stand like not being afraid to speak up on like this is what I'm hearing. These are the messages that I'm getting. Or like stepping into um, more divination or, you know, doing tarot if your family and friends are like, what are you talking about? And you're like, I've stepped into this. Just basically you're stepping into this place of being confident and comfortable and not being afraid of what the other people have to say on the outside. And some of you guys too may be doing a lot of work with cats. Cats may be popping up a lot for you. I know I'm, I'm always doing work with cats I love cats um but I'm really picking up on heavy on like cat energy um cats have spiritual healing things to them with like purring they're healing you cats can see entities and spirits and energies around us that we can't and they protect us so some of you guys may be doing a lot of work with cats um so yeah what's some self-care we can use for this week what is some self-care we can use for this week? Flow like water. Flow like water. So, doing a lot of work in the water, going to the beach, um, taking spirit baths, spending more time in the showers, um, letting your intuition and emotions flow naturally and not feeling like a sense of needing to hold them back. Um, and I think that's going to have a, a big thing to do with like being open and vulnerable with your emotions with people. And, and that's going to have a lot to do with the receiving and being open to receive this abundance because all like spirit wants you to do is just be so open that you don't even restrict yourself from showing your actual true emotions. Let me pull one more of these while I wait. Excuse me, one more. All right, intuition. Yeah, so again, with this let this flow and then the high priestess, high priestess, these are all intuition, psychic, third eye cards. So 
it's like we're so heavy with like being so open to receive no that's not it being so open to receive okay i had to pause because i needed this deck i needed it and i found it <laughs> it was behind my bed it fell behind it that's why we couldn't find it so um with the third eye it's really saying like some self-care working on some like using some sound bowls like a tibetan bowl That helps cleanse your aura, your physical body around you, help opening the third eye. Use like a third eye crystal bowl, work with amethyst crystals. Those are good for your third eye. Picking up in your intuition. Clear quartz help ampl amplify other crystals around you too. Um, practicing with your tarot cards if you're new with tarot um, or you're kind of out of whack with your tarot, whatever it is. Practicing with that can help open your third eye, journaling, writing down your dreams, um, just having this sense of confidence and standing in your mountain form and believing and just like when you when you get a message, instead of second guessing yourself, be the mountain and be like, okay, <laughs> and stick with it. Um, so now I'm gonna pull daily crystal inspiration see what we need to hear for this week tiger's eye overcome your fears yes overcome your fears overcome your fears of being open and vulnerable overcome your fears of sharing your feelings with the people around you all right if this message resonated or this reading resonated with you for this week please comment down below. I'd love to see what you guys have to say. Make sure that you are subscribed to my YouTube channel. Uh, like, comment, share this with a friend, family member, whoever. And I will catch you guys back next week. And make sure to wait, hold up, don't, don't go yet. Make sure you watch for your sun, moon, and rising tarot scope for the month of March on my channel. All right, I will catch you guys next week. Bye.